Hi guys, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and the RCMA No Color Powder. There is a big price difference between these two products and the Laura Mercier is one ounce and the RCMA is three ounces. First, we're gonna talk about the RCMA No Color Powder. So this, I got on Camera Ready Cosmetics, which I talked about in one of my other videos. Um, this is $12. So you get three ounces of powder for $12. The only thing I do not like about this is it is very inconvenient when you're trying to get the powder out. This looks like it belongs on your spice rack. So I don't really like the packaging, but I mean, for $12, you kind of work with what you got. So the best way to do this is either shake it up and you'll have a little bit on the rim to just dip your beauty blender in, or you can put it on the back of your hand. But the, I mean, the thing I love about Laura Mercier is you have that big cap that you can literally just dip your beauty blender in and there's no mess. So I'm not really thrilled about the packaging, but again, it's $12, so you get what you get. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. I think that's probably the easiest way to go about this. So I am going to bake with this. And then I'm gonna use the other side of my beauty blender for the Laura Mercier. This powder is definitely more of a yellow undertone than the RCMA. You can definitely, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can definitely tell that this Laura Mercier has that yellow undertone compared to the RCMA. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this away with a kabuki brush. And I'm also gonna dab it around my face to set the rest of my foundation. So I can't tell a difference at all. Um, and I'm sure you guys can't either. Um, I think when you initially put both of these products on, you cannot tell a difference. But when I did this last week, I just wanted to compare it and just see how my face held up throughout the entire day. And to be honest, the RC May side held up a lot better. It didn't look like I had as much oil on this side than my Laura Mercier side. So that's very important to keep in mind because that's obviously why you wear setting, setting powder. Um, I have a dog hair on my nose. And the price difference is so crazy. Okay, this is three ounces. So that's a lot of product. Yes, the packaging sucks, but it's $12. So the RCMA is a great product um, for the price and just because it holds up all day. And the Laura Mercier is also an amazing, amazing product. But like I said, I noticed that my oil ends up coming through around four hours after putting my makeup on. So, and this retails for $38. I think they have one other size that's like 30 or something like that but, um, or maybe 28, but still, this is only one ounce. So, I mean, it looks like a lot of products, but it's, it's not in comparison to the RCMA. But the good thing about this is it's super easy to travel with because if you need to like fix your makeup a little bit or, you know, take some oil away, you just dip your, your brush into the cap and just wipe around your face. So this is super easy and more convenient. So yeah, great products, just different outcomes and different prices. 
And really, in my opinion, it just depends on the person. So real quick, I wanted to talk about the Laura Mercier um, brightening powder. This one retails at $26. The brightening powder is just for under your eyes, okay? So you can't really set your face with this. It's just to brighten your eyes and kind of lift them a little. So if you want more of a setting powder to make sure that your makeup is gonna last all day, I would suggest putting the setting powder on, not baking, just kind of dab it into your skin and wherever you want to put the setting powder and then bake with the brightening powder because I've done that before and I really liked the outcome of it just it kind of set my makeup but then also lifted it and brightened it this is the brightening powder which is only for under your eyes you can't set it with I mean you could but it's not meant for that it's not really formulated for that and the that's 26 and then the Laura Mercier this is much bigger and this is 38 and this is the translucent setting powder you can put it under your eyes on your nose wherever you put your concealer and the rcma retails for 12 dollars, and it's also a no color powder and it lasts all day so i think personally for me the rcma powder seems more worth your money it's good to try different brands because everybody's skin type is different, everybody's preferences are different. So try these products out and let me know what you guys think about these products and what your opinions are on them because I'm very interested to see because I know everybody has a different opinion on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it very useful. I will see you guys in my next video.